Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sisi, and today I'm going to be taking you through a soft warm up or in Sanskrit, Pawana Muktasana series part one. So, the soft warm up is something you do if you are new to yoga, if you've never like done yoga before, it's a good start, or maybe you're having high blood pressure, or maybe heart problems, or arthritis, or the doctor said you can't do like bigger vigorous movement the main purpose of this series is to eliminate energy blockages in the joints that means you know from the toes ankles all the way up to the neck usually energy is supposed to flow freely in your body but maybe because of too much sitting less movement maybe bad sitting posture all these things could be anything that closes that causes the blockage of energy so what this series does is literally unblock the energy chains which are the joints so energy can flow freely okay let's get right into it but before we go forward kind request if you're not yet subscribed and you like this video please subscribe if you have an opinion you want to share maybe you did not like the video or maybe you liked it and you just want to let me know the comment section is yours go wild so first we're going to come to a comfortable seated position move the extra meat from the sitting bones uh, we're going to send our hands back can you see me well here yes so we're sending the hands back it's okay if you do not see my face or you just see half of it uh, because you're going to start with the toes as long as you can see my toes so this is the best position you can slightly lean back but just make sure your shoulders are free and straight elbows straight neck is straight head in a neutral position so we're going to start with toe bending on the inhale we send the toes back and on the exhale we send them forward inhale back exhale forward inhale back exhale forward inhale back and exhale forward so ideally you should do this movement 10 times but for time sake we're just going to do five of each now after the toe bending we go to the ankle joint so we finish the toe joints and now we go to the ankle joints inhale back exhale forward inhale back Oof. exhale forward did you hear the crack inhale back exhale forward inhale back exhale forward inhale back and exhale forward so remember again you do that five times and now we're going to do the ankle rotation. We're going to start with the right leg. Inhale forward to the right. Exhale back to the left. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. And exhale back. And now we're going to take the same foot to the opposite direction. Inhale back to the left. Exhale forward to the right. Inhale back to the left. Exhale forward to the right. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. And one more time. Inhale back. And exhale forward. And now we go to the left foot. Inhale back to the left exhale forward to the right inhale back left exhale forward right inhale back exhale forward inhale back exhale forward inhale back and exhale forward and now we're going to rotate the feet together we're going to start with the right side inhale for back exhale forward inhale back exhale forward inhale back exhale forward inhale back exhale forward inhale back and exhale forward opposite direction inhale back exhale forward 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 so that's our ankle rotation and now we're going to crack the ankle we're going to start with the right leg so we're going to bend the right knee and reach for the right foot with the left hand 
bring the right foot to rest at the top of the left thigh and then we crack it to one direction Oof. lots of blocked energy in there and then to the opposite direction remember guys try to do this 10 times but for time's sake i'm only doing five times and sometimes i forget like i lose count but what i always do is that if i lose count i just put in like extra one or two okay and now we do the left side same thing we did with the right and to the opposite direction And there we go so every after three different moves just send your hands back relax close your eyes and just see how your body feels in that moment maybe for three breaths remember yogi breathing with every inhale belly comes out feel the air all the way to the abdomen and then the exhale belly goes up you can even use your ujjayi breath by constricting your throat inhale so it makes a sound and exhale gently open your eyes and let's go to the next move now we're going to contract the knees inhale we just suck the knees in maybe the heels come slightly off the mat exhale release inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale now we're going to do knee bending so we're going to start with the right then the right leg interlace your fingers under the right thigh and then inhale lengthen exhale drop inhale lengthen exhale drop inhale lengthen exhale drop inhale lengthen exhale drop inhale lengthen and exhale drop release the leg bend the left interlace your fingers under the left thigh inhale lengthen exhale drop inhale lengthen exhale drop inhale lengthen exhale drop inhale lengthen exhale drop try to keep your back straight inhale lengthen and exhale drop release the legs back to the mat shake them a bit and again we get back to the right interlace our fingers and now we're just going to move the knees round in opposite directions but first we're going to start with the right direction because it's the right leg and now we go inhale up to the right exhale down to the left inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down and now we move the same leg to the opposite direction to the left inhale up to the left exhale down to the right inhale up so what you're doing is that we're drawing circles with our leg and that way we are moving the knee you know the knee has the least amount of muscles so there isn't so much support there yet it carries so much weight so gentle exercises like this are very good for the knee you can call them exercises or in yogic language asanas and now same thing with the left inhale up to the left exhale down to the right inhale up left exhale down right inhale up left exhale down right inhale up left exhale down right inhale up exhale down opposite direction inhale up to the right exhale down to the left inhale up to the right exhale down to the left be aware of the knee make sure it doesn't move it tends to move sometimes when you're trying to draw bigger circles so you can reduce the size of the circles just to keep the knee in place and please shake the legs a bit and now this time we're going to bend both knees bring our fingers interlace them under the thighs lean slightly back keeping the back straight and we're going to start with the right inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up 
exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down and to the opposite direction inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down and again we release send the hands back fingers facing the opposite direction slightly lean back close your eyes and just see how you feel here and don't forget your yogi breathing deep breath in you can constrict your throat so it makes the sound ujjayi breathing going to do half butterfly we're going to start with the right leg again we're going to bend the right knee bring the right foot on top of the left thigh relax the right knee in a neutral position that means uh, in between the ground and the sky I guess so on the inhale we're going to pull the knee towards the chest don't use any force just let me go to your body's extent to its extent and on the exhale, we're going to push the knee down towards the mat. Remember, it doesn't matter whether the knee touches or the mat or doesn't, it's fine. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale, push it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. And gently release the leg. Check it a bit, then bend the left knee, bring the left foot on top of the right thigh, use the right hand to reach for the left toes, and use the left hand to reach for the left knee. And again, inhale up to the chest, exhale down towards the mat. Inhale up, remember to go to your body's extent, exhale down. We're all different, so everyone has their own extent. Maybe mine can touch and maybe yours cannot touch. Or maybe yours touches much more easily than mine or you might even find that you get change much easier you see progress and change progress much easier or in a shorter period than i did and release check your legs a bit and now what we're going to do is hip rotation we're going to bend the right knee again bring the right foot on top of the left thigh bring the right hand to reach for the right knee and the left hand reaches for the right foot so what we're going to do is draw circles with the right knee so that way we feel movement in the right hip so we're going to start clockwise inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down and now to the opposite direction inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down release the leg shake it out a bit and now we bend the left same thing right hand to left foot left hand to left knee and again we're going to start clockwise inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down and to the opposite direction inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down now when you're doing this movement be aware of the other foot make sure that to the, the foot is still flexed and engaged i mean we tend to forget me too i'm guilty sometimes i forget but every time you forget that means you're on autopilot and you need to switch back to be present in the moment i mean we're only human we drift away but always try to be aware so you're present in the moment okay we shake it out a bit and now we're going to do 
a full butterfly. So butterfly, we bring the soles of the feet to touch, bring them as close as we can to our sitting boy joints, keeping the back straight, interlace your fingers and bring them under your feet. And now from here you can do 30 movements up and down and again remember no forcing just flip your butterfly like that back is straight shoulders are relaxed head is in a neutral position just flip 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 okay for the interest of time that's enough flipping for me and now the second stage is that we're going to use our hands to push the knees down but gently I feel like when I'm like this, I really can't push my knees. It's a bit uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my feet slightly forward. Yeah, this feels more comfortable and just push the knees like that. Ooh. Oh, that feels nice. And release. And again, push. Release. Push. So again, this movement as well, you can do 30 times, but for the interest of time and discomfort, I'm just going to do five. And push again. And release. So every time you feel like a pose is uncomfortable, not uncomfortable like, oh, I'm not used to this, but uncomfortable like it's dangerously uncomfortable, just simply get out of the pose and get into Shavasana for a good three minutes. All right, so again, we send our hands back, fingers facing the opposite direction, slightly tilt back, close our eyes, and take a few recovery breaths, being present in this moment, just seeing how our bodies feel from the toes all the way up to the hip joints. Relax here, and just be aware of your body. How do your toe joints feel? your ankle joints, your knee joints, and your hip joints. Not forgetting your yogi breathing with Ujjayi Pranayama. And now the next joint we're going to work on is the hands. So we're going to stand, start with hand clenching. So what we're going to do is spread our fingers out wide and here at this point you can either stay in the starting position or you can come to an easy seat as long as your spine is straight so this is more comfortable for me now i need change so let's do the hand clenching so on the inhale we spread the fingers out wide as far as we can and on the exhale we bring the thumb to the palm and squeeze it in inhale spread Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, spread. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, spread. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, spread. And exhale, squeeze. Sorry about the buds, guys. There's not much I can do. It's nature. So now what we're going to do is uh, wrist bending. So we're going to stretch the arms out wide. And on the inhale, we push them all the way down. Stretch the wrists. And on the exhale, we push them all the way up by keeping our elbows straight here. Inhale, wrists down. Sorry, hands down, fingers down. Exhale, fingers facing up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. And exhale up. And now what we're going to do, we're going to bring the thumb into the palm, close it in and do some wrist rotation. So we go one and two and three and four and five. Carry on to ten. And then after that, go to the opposite direction. One and two and three and four and five. And when you're done, gently release, shake it out. Sometimes it's too much on the biceps. Oof, yes. Now we're going to do elbow bending. So we're going to stretch our arms out wide, palms facing up. This is the starting position. Inhale 
and on the exhale fingers to shoulders inhale lengthen exhale shoulders inhale lengthen exhale shoulders inhale lengthen and exhale shoulders and now stage two we're going to send them sideways palms still facing up inhale here exhale touch the shoulders inhale lengthen exhale shoulders inhale lengthen exhale shoulders inhale lengthen exhale shoulders inhale lengthen and exhale shoulders again you can send your arms back to all right so now we're going to do some elbow rotation we're going to start with the right so we bring we bend the right elbow and bring the fingers to loosely touch the right shoulder bring the left palm under the elbow the right elbow for support and we gently move it to one direction up and down 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 and, down. and now to the opposite direction up and down up and down up and down up and down don't forget your breath up and down and gently release and now we go to the left hand palm right palm to the left elbow and we go up and down to one direction up and down i miss that band up and down up and down and down and now we go to the opposite direction up and down 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 and gently release shake your shoulders a bit Ooh, now they're more supple okay now we bring fingers of both the right and the left hand place them on the shoulders and now we're going to inhale up elbows come together and on the exhale release you can touch your ears draw a big circle all the way down shoulders inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale shoulders together all the way up and on the exhale release open wide can touch the ears inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down and now to the opposite direction inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down and gently release shake your head a bit and now what you're going to do is the head movement so if you can see my neck that's good enough you don't have to see anything up there there's really not much you're going to do up there uh, when I look at myself in the selfie screen, I think you can see my neck, which is pretty awesome. And then, anyway, let's get right back into it. So we're going to start with the head movement up and down. So on the inhale, you look up. And on the exhale, all the way down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. You can keep your eyes closed here for a bit because sometimes you get dizzy if you move your head. Just don't worry about it. It's all right. It happens sometimes. Just keep your eyes closed for a bit. And when you feel stable enough, open your eyes. 
if you still don't feel stable you can go in shavasana or if it persists it's worth calling a doctor all right so now what you're going to do is move the head sideways so on the inhale we bring the right ear to touch the right shoulder exhale return to center inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale before we go any further i just want to say if you have um ringing in the ear what is it called tinnitus or some dizziness it's not worth doing the neck movement because that would just worsen the whole situation inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale again keeping your eyes closed rest here for a few recovery breath until you feel like you're not dizzy anymore all right Whoa. oh wow it looks all bluish amazing now we're going to move the chin towards the shoulders so on the inhale chin finds right shoulder exhale back to center inhale left shoulder exhale center i like doing this with my eyes closed right center left center right center left center right center left center right center left and center and now we're going to draw full circles with our head starting with the right side inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down and to the opposite direction inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down and there you have it guys that's the soft warm-up series and when you're done just lie in shavasana for about three minutes and just in shavasana what i like to do if i'm struggling with focusing you just mentally count back from 27 like on the inhale i'm inhaling 27 exhale i'm exhaling 27 inhale i'm inhaling 26 exhale i'm exhaling 26 so you just keep counting back mentally and this will either help you focus on that and slowly you start focusing on your breath until you are able to focus all the time while you're in Shavasana. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you want. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your opinion in the comment section. See you next time. Namaste.